While the shock is still being felt, they say the discussion does not feel new. They say regardless of the motive, the violence against Asian Americans can no longer be ignored. It's also not shocking to a certain extent because this is not a new thing. Attacks against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are not new now or over the course of American history. Panelists for Yukon's Asian American Institute's discussion on Asian American violence pointed to many other times in America's past where people of Asian descent were targeted for issues abroad. Looking for someone to blame for the pandemic has been no different. And I think about all the Asian American families who have loved ones working at these Asian American owned businesses. Tuesday's shooting spree in Atlanta, Georgia that killed eight people, six of whom were Asian women, only heightened fears that were growing over the pandemic. Stop AAPI Hate that tracks violence against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders reports crimes are up 149% nationwide since the start of the pandemic. Asian American women are over two times more likely to be targeted. They are often sexualized, as well as seen as subservient and submissive, easy targets. Fetishization of Asian American women causes them to be viewed as objects. Panelists also experienced frustration at being seen as outsiders, even though they were born in this country. That eventually became a series of thoughts where I was just like, um, why am I not American? Will I ever be American? Will I ever be enough? And Panelists talked about erasing the invisibility felt by Asian Americans when it comes to discrimination. One they believe starts with supporting each other. And hearing one of our stories, we can now um, collaborate and empower ourselves. Something also mentioned on the call was that this incident has helped them feel seen for the first time in a long time. They say that people are reaching out to them, whether it be family or friends, to ask if they've been okay over the last year. In New Haven, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.